wolf works. Sometimes when you're out in the range, you need a good shooting rest or a good bipod to get the most accuracy out of your shots. Today we're going to be focusing more on the hairstyle bipod and show you a nifty little trick how to make the bipod work for you. The hairstyle bipod already features quick deploying legs and in this project all we're going to be doing is synchronize them both in order to deploy with one hand. There are many methods of achieving this ranging from electrical tape, string, twine, and even duct tape. For our project we'll be using 550 cord for its durability and its nice looks afterwards. Make sure when cutting your cord to size that you use the appropriate, appropriate size knife to avoid any injuries. I'm using the SOG Kikiri, manufactured by SOG, in order to get our task done. Nearly perfect. Don't forget to use your lighter to singe off any frays and prevent the cord from unwinding any further. Since we already have our 550 cord mounted, We'll just be showing you a quick little demo on how to do it. Any knot will do from a square, bowling, or figure eight if you really want, but just near about anything will do. On here we have modified score knots in order to prevent it from loosening up or com coming undone over time. The simple is just, or sorry, the middle is just a simple figure eight. If you don't know how to do that, we'll just quickly demo. Take your cord up and under and voila and with that you achieve a simple little method to point with your fingers or with one hand all right guys if in case you haven't noticed yeah some of this was done just kind of as a satire but in all honesty this is a really cool method that I picked up eight years ago um, I don't know if it's really been used all that often, but I found it really works for me and I figure I might as well show with you guys. Anyways, in all honesty, you just take any type of material you want, tape, string, and uh, tie it on to your legs, and it really does give you a quick, easy method for your bipod. Um, I'll go ahead and roll in some footage of me just messing around and deploying it, and we'll call it good. All right, so with that, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've seen it before, if you haven't, if you've had any issues. By the way, if you guys are wondering, yeah, it sticks out a little, but you also have the option of looping around your little locking nut there and kind of keeping it out of the way. And again, in case you're wondering, you can deploy it still without it causing any interference. Alright, that's going to be it. I'll roll in the footage after this, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.